are you looking forward to the most in this uh, YSG Netball Cup in 2023? Um, I can't wait to watch the girls play different schools, see how they like do against different schools from different countries. I'm really looking forward to seeing like proper good competition for them. Yeah, I think we're looking forward to meeting different cultures and having the experience of playing um, schools from all over the world. I think it's a great opportunity. Uh, how excited are you to kind of face the international competition? It'll be a really amazing opportunity. Um, you know, they might have different styles of play. They might have different um, tactics that we're used to playing over in this country. So it'll be really nice to be able to go up against them and see how how we do. Yeah, just as she said, like the different styles of play. I think it's a good way to mix up and help the girls develop as a team. How's training go so, going so far for your netball squad? Uh, yeah, doing really well. So we're currently part of this, the school Scottish Cup. Um, the girls have come top of their group. They they were playing Leith and Queensferry in their group, so they're now through to the knockouts. Um, so yeah, training's going really well. We'll hopefully be training a lot more um, in the coming months. How are you guys preparing for this big tournament? Are you guys having a different game plan approach uh, just for next year's tournament at all or anything like that? Um, to be honest, our approach has been, there's been so much going on recently, um, we haven't really sat down as a team yet to properly think about how we're going to approach the competition, but um, they're preparing loads through their Scottish Cup um, and yeah, we'll hopefully just develop after Christmas further. Yeah, I think just do what we do best. Um, I'm confident that the girls and that I and myself can play how we play and that's just the best we can do. What's the atmosphere been like so far, just that practice? Uh, just kind of going in knowing that you're going to go to Loughborough next year? Yeah, I think everyone's pretty excited. Um, the opportunity is obviously unreal and everyone always seems pretty up for it, pretty excited. Obviously, seeing different competition than what we're used to, I think it's a, it'll be great. And then how are you keeping your teammates motivated? Because this is going to be an international competition. It could be different than domestic. So how are you just keeping everyone motivated to just go into next year's tournament? Yeah, I think we're just we're keeping calm um, facing it like we would any other match, um, remaining confident. And I think just play how we normally play and we'll smash it. What's been the biggest focus so far in training? Um. <laughs> fundraising at the moment is our biggest focus as, as a team and um, the girls have been doing really really well at that so far um, we've actually not had a lot of training recently because of um, Scotch Cup takes over um, so they've just been focusing on their, their usual tactics their usual gameplay um, and we'll have much more focus on it next year when it's a bit quieter what are each of you looking forward to get out of the most in this big tournament in Loughborough is there any big goals in mind for this cup um, I mean, I'd love the girls to get as far away through the competition as they possibly can. Um, I don't think we have a goal yet, but I see no reason why they can't compete um, all the way through the competition. Um, I, yeah, anything to add to that? Yeah, I'd just say, like, as a team we want to develop, we're obviously all friends out outside of the team, so I think we'll just play how we want to play. Oh, so it's an amazing opportunity, and, um, you know, I'm lucky that in my own netball career I've had lots of opportunities to go away as a team and you learn so much when you get to go away as a team and they've not as far as I'm aware been able to well we've not through school anyway had an opportunity like this so they'll learn loads from it as we go. Besides just play here and, and developing more as a team with the chemistry how do you think this is going to kind of impact the players just to grow uh, their character development? Yeah, I mean, I think they'll learn a lot about themselves and each other. You know, it might be quite intense being around each other and maybe living with people for, you know, the two nights together. They might learn each other as annoyances. They might learn what they really like about each other. Um, I think they'll they'll learn character building, they'll, loads of resilience. You know, they, they might experience winning, losing, um, you know, happiness, sadness, all these different emotions. So it'll be really interesting to see how they all cope and how they gel as a team. I think it'll bring them a lot closer with having that experience. I think whatever me and the girls do, we'll do together. Um, some of that will be good, some of that not so good, but I think it'll be a great experience and it'll be, we'll grow together as a team. The last question is just, do you have any final thoughts on the YSG Netball Cup next year in 2023 in Loughborough? Um, just can't wait to be in the amazing facilities, be surrounded by all these different teams and um, you know, hopefully they'll be able to get to know different teams as well and just the opportunity um, to get away and, and have a, an away trip will be really, really exciting. Awesome. Yeah, Loughborough is obviously like an amazing facility. Um, everyone's obviously very excited and we just want to do our best. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. We appreciate it and best of luck right. next year. Thank, thank you. you.